to another Marbella vlog, another day in my life in Marbella. I have just come back from Mallorca, looking all tanned. So yeah, we were planning on going for a walk if we woke up early, but we woke up at around 10 and now it is like around 11, but because it is overcast, we thought we'd go for it anyways. So I'm going to show you my typical um, morning walk with my mom. Okay, so we're walking onto the pier to the beach. Um, but it's really bad weather today, mom. How disappointing. I mean, it is still warm, but just not nice for the vlog. Ocean Club is absolutely dead right now. This man just chilling on the beach with his donkey. It's not even a donkey for touristic purposes. It's literally just his donkey. This apartment block is really amazing, made out of like pink marble and gold, etc. And it was the who to who, mum? Who built it? The Syrian, Syrian president for his uh, family. The Syrian president built this for his family. Like, I mean, look, you can't, I can't even show you in one screen how big this now apartment block is, but imagine this is your house. And like, look, it continues all the way there, goes all the way around the corner, goes all the way back there. It's like, I don't know how many floors. And it just continues, 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 continues. So that's my little addition to the history of the buildings in Marbella. We're now in Puerto Venus. Watch my other vlog to see it at evening time. I actually have two vlogs where you can see it at evening time. Again, it's much nicer when the sun is out, but you get the vibe. Imagine how nice this was when it was literally just my mom and I. I'm not overreacting, walking in the winter. It was completely empty, just the boats docked this winter sun. Really nice. So pretty. Look at this flower wall coming down. I love these vibrant flowers and the palm trees. We were so hungry after our walk. We walked uh, 9.2 kilometers, so we thought we would treat ourselves with some Indian food. And we've never. Have you actually taken takeaway from here? Yeah. Okay, it's called Masala and it's in Istapona, and it's the best Indian restaurant in Marbella. And they are working on a Michelin star, but it looks very nice. I'm a big fan of the mango chutney we have at the moment, and we ordered our dishes, and I'm so hungry and so excited. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so, so good. I cannot wait to dig in. So this is the massage bed for today with our view. Look how amazing, how serene. Wow, I can't believe I'm here. We, we, we walked 1.5 kilometers to get to our massage location to meet Mary. And I'm very excited, it's so beautiful. I'm going to film and show you guys the hike back up, but I didn't feel like filming coming down. But look how amazing. My, I don't know if it's too windy for you to hear, uh, but my massage is now finished and I fell asleep at the end when she was doing like my face and stuff. It was so, so peaceful. Mummy chilling, watching the beautiful serene view. We just went in for a dip. Um. So we just had our lunch and I forgot to film our lunch actually, but we had lovely cooked chicken with some couscous salad with every, no courgette, carrots, pine nuts, and then some watermelon. It was all very fresh and lovely. I look very pale in this lighting, mum. Anyways, the food was divine. It's very nice 
massage, serene, peaceful day meal. And now my mom and I are trying to avoid the fact that we have to do an uphill hike back to the car two of kilometers. two kilometers. Uphill. I said uphill and I'm driving it because that means we have to put on our shoes. We have to hike up. <sighs> Stressful. Get into a hot car. All of the above. Look at the water glistening. This is the Marbella Water Reserve. So, and it fills up. She said that when there's no tourists and like during COVID, it filled up all the way to the um, to the fence up there. So she just like put a bucket outside her fence and then could water her plants. All the way up to the house. And all the way up to that house. Can you believe it? And now it's sunk down quite a lot, but it also completely dries up. So yes. I think just nature is an amazing thing. Isn't it, ma'am? Mm -hmm. The water is the perfect temperature and it's super soft. I can't explain it. But, ooh! <laughs> There's some sort of bubbles, but it wasn't me farting. So I didn't expect it. Also, there's animals here. Lemur? No, I mean the water animal. Yeah. Lemur. I don't know what it is, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this chill, natural spa day with me and my ma with my madre and I. And we'll see you later. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but here where we were swimming is blue. But as you go around the corner, it gets greener and greener. And that means the water is hotter, which is kind of cool. I seriously can't get over this view. It's so serene. And the crickets are extremely loud. So it's like intense holiday nature feels right now. That's where we sat in had our lunch and look at the cat it's chilling behind my bag these type of um, cacti trees how beautiful thank you thank you thank you bye thank you if we get on top we'll call you for another massage the hike has commenced and i'm already so thirsty and it's just heavy to breathe, mm -hmm. so I'm not really going to talk much because I have to conserve energy. But let's say goodbye to the view. A few moments later. 45 seconds later. <laughs> we got up this one hill and I turned to my mom and I said, let me know if you need a break. We both laughed because we both need a break already. I can't breathe. Okay, wish me luck. Look at this view though. One eternity later. Still powering on, look how much we've walked. I'm close to fainting, but we can do this. And now at my friend Alex's house. So we are gonna go for some drinks. We haven't decided yet to where. I might vlog a little and yeah, show you around town. I'm kind of tired, so I don't think I'll be staying out late, but. Hi. Hello. <laughs> we got caipirinhas, apparently they're the best one and a pina colada. It's so nice here in the evening with the lights, the sea and the sunset. Good morning everyone. Um, today my mom and I are going for facials, which I'm super excited about. I haven't had a facial in over a year because of my surgery, but we are going to Ochoa Hospital. Um, aesthetic clinic, apparently her extraction. Um, method for blackheads and etc. is fantastic. Okay, so let's go. Look how pretty it is as well. The sea, it's a very hot, sunny day. 
facial time. Oh my goodness, guys, look at my skin. I look like a newborn baby. Wow, that glow. Also, the massage, like she gave me a neck massage and it was so good. Like it's exactly what I needed because I've been struggling with my shoulders. Yesterday was fantastic as well, the full body, but I feel like today she really like dug into my shoulders and it was fantastic. Look, do you see any blackheads? No, you don't. No, you don't. Anyways, so highly recommend. She is an extractor and she really does an amazing job. Like honestly, it's the best facial I've ever had because it was painful, but it was fantastic. <laughs> it's like the same vibe as the one in Soto Grande. Hi guys, I haven't checked in since my um, facial this morning, but yeah, look at the tiger. Is it a cheetah? A cheetah. That's my spirit animal. What a coincidence. Anyways, I'm also in my animal print. Very rare viewing. Okay, so I'm in my animal print and we are at the opening of Trocadero Estepona. I did a full vlog on Trocadero Santa Grande, so if you haven't seen that, go check that out after this vlog, but it was really, really fun. And now a new one has opened in Estepona, and the view is amazing. So we're at the opening, my mom got an invite. So I'm her plus one, lucky me. I'm gonna show you guys around after I have my champagne and eat some food. It's pretty cool, there's the owners of like all the beach clubs in Morbeo and stuff here. So I'm hoping someone spots me vlogging and asks to come by. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna give you a little tour of the whole area so you know what's happening when you come here. This is the pool with the bar over there, which is cool. It would be so cool if it was a swim-up bar, but unfortunately not. But the view of the pool going out, it's very, very similar to the Soto Grande one with the grass. And then going out. We are going to go eat pizza. I vlogged this before, but it's worth the vlog. And someone actually commented recently asking me where this location is. So it is in Old Town. And I'm going to show you the exact name of it because they have the best thin base pizzas that are very yummy. So after that, we're gonna do a bit of shopping. So stay tuned and I'll show you around Old Town. Here we have it off the main road before you go into Old Town. We have Ventuccio. So that's the name. You can Google it. It's quite quaint. I was actually going to say this is great for pizza, but if you want to go to a really nice Italian restaurant, I actually filmed it and that's when I lost all my footage. But uh, we went to what's it, Casatua, mm -hmm. and that's also here in Old Town, and it has very good uh, Italian food. Look how yummy! These pizzas look insane. Look how thin that base is. Like, wow. Look how cute my anklet is. I got two, and I'm really happy with them. <laughs> I just missed that on the <clears throat> camera. Because <laughs> it really smells right now. So according to my mom, there are some plants and bushes that smell like lukewarm <laughs> piss. <laughs> Not even just piss. 
So one tip for if you're coming into Old Town, this a tip applies to like shopping everywhere pretty much in Spain, is that they take their siesta. So right now, most of the shops are closed. Okay, there are a couple of them open, but as you can see, loads of them are closed from, I think it's like from two until five? No, one until five, two till five. So either come before lunch or have an early lunch or I don't know what you want to do. That's cute. What did you get? Mango and raspberry sorbet. Mango and raspberry. Favorite sorbet. Yeah. Look how pretty this square is. What's the square called, Mum? Orange square. Oh, it is orange square. Look at me, how good I am at being a Marbella tour guide. I knew this was orange square. This is the first time I've seen it fully in blossom. There. It's also quaint. There's a church over there. These dress shops are so nice, such like Marbella style outfits, Ibiza style outfits. Another church. So beautiful. Look how cute this little hidden place is, right in the center of Old Town. Oh, oh my god, I thought you said a rat. No. But then mum wouldn't be standing either. Oh, where's the rabbit? Cheers. Cheers. Oof, that's strong. It's very nice. Though. The farm is in this square where there's also Zazoy, and Zazoy is another like well-known restaurant here. Hi guys. I'm here with my sis Yazi P. She hasn't been in a vlog in a while, um, but I'm in DNG and we're at their sunset drinks. <laughs> this is so hilarious, guys. Oh, is he watching or is that another one? Yeah, we need to. I'm gonna just leave my camera like here. The funny part was like he was like, "What's what's your number? What's your number?" I was like, "You want my number?" He was like, hey, "No, your favorite number." <laughs> but also your number, like your number. Yes. Explain why. Yeah, he wanted my favorite number, but like, how was I supposed to know? Oh yes, Yazzie yeah, P just said, hoping the vibe picks up, and then the DJ started. <laughs> now the crowds have to come, but like, yeah, we'll attract them. <laughs> My favorite number is eight, so they gave me an eight with the heart. As you heard him say, look at this gold frosted cherry. The Just the presentation of this drink is a wow. And her burnt orange with an olive in the Aperol. It's absolutely stunning cocktails. So first up, we got some toast with pesto, stracciatella, and tomato. I've only ever had stracciatella ice cream, so like... I'm so happy that I didn't Yeah. <laughs> So I can have bed. Oh yes. I wonder if everyone else is getting these freebies or if it's just because he's like crushing on us. <laughs> what is it? Yeah. Wow. wow, thank you. Thank you. So that's what it looks like on the inside. It's just like a fudge brownie. Not Nutella at all. Oh. Okay, we're going home now. And Yazzie P enjoyed the night. <laughs> totally looking unenthusiastic, but we're just planning our end of night activities. So see you, good night, see you tomorrow. Hi guys. Now we're at my mom's friend's house for a barbecue. I'm gonna film what I can, but I might not film everything. Uh, but yeah, this is my OOTN. 
I'm wearing wedges on a very weird terrain once again. The last time I wore my wedges in my previous Marbella vlog and I was walking up the hill to a, a party and now I'm walking on these stairs to a party. Almost at the house, five hours later. <laughs> Look how cute. It's all set up. They're doing the barbecue over there and it smells so friggin' good. Look at this cute dog. Hi! Hey. No. Okay, this is the back garden. And as you can see there is Villa Paderna. And look how peaceful this is. Oh wow, there's like paddle boards there and a dock you can walk out on. I don't know if you can see that with the light reflecting. But look how peaceful and beautiful it is. And then there's their pool. And I love these long cacti again. Okay, so um, Yaz and Mum are going skinny dipping. Stay tuned for the end of the vlog for this footage. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting ready now. <laughs> this is the nighttime view. Look how pretty with the reflection on the lake. We had a, lot, a really nice dinner. It was really enjoyable. And what? Oh, this is on the vlog. <laughs> yeah, this is on the vlog. <laughs> See, I've never imagined doing a vlog with all five of us. So like four siblings dipping? plus no. mum. <laughs> <laughs> you, you might start a friend. <laughs> yeah. I I'm sure all the men would love to join yeah. you. A few geckos running after each other. Hi guys, I'm in Think of Asaya. Well, no, not Think of Asaya anymore. It's called Mamza. The last time I was here was when it was Think of Asaya. Mum remembers my young, you were 16, 16 years, years old, old clubbing ages. When I was coming. <laughs> so they've changed owner, changed name. It's kind of a shame because I actually really liked Think of Isaiah and the vibe, but let's see what it is like now. <laughs> So we have our table which is actually in a great location because the like dance floor is like right there so that's nice and it's so strange to see it, it's so cool. Like I really like the setting for a dinner but it was a really nice um, clubbing setting wasn't it? Like yeah. a really nice party setting because it was all outdoor and imagine all here was like your, like there was a table spread out and it was just like an amazing setting. Like obviously for dinner, it's a cool vibe, but yeah. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. I got truffle pasta with parmesan. Look how freaking good that looks. I can't even explain how good this smells. Even Yaz was like, I can smell it from here. It smells so good. I wish you could smell it. Again, that I need to do these eating programs. If you want me to eat for you, comment down below. The al dente, oh my goodness, try this. The pasta is my level of al dente. It is perfect. And you know, I always talk about al dente on my vlogs. Yeah. yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like yeah. <laughs> yes, confirmed. She's like one of my biggest vlog watchers. But it's true, al dente is so important to me.
my mom is trying to get the waiter to strip. <laughs> Hey!